Uh, for many years, this site has been a barrier to fish. And today, because of the shared commitment of everybody here, uh, there are over 10 miles of upstream, pristine habitat that are now open to multiple species of salmon. A lot of this work has already been done like in the Matsu on the Kenai Peninsula and Anchorage, but this is a you know this is a new thing that's going on in Tionic. They're really satisfying projects to complete because so many conservation issues are ongoing. But at culvert replacement, it's you do a big project and it's done. <laughs> the fish can go through. You know, if you build it correctly, it's going to last for 50 to 100 years. But um, taking care of these over here is really going to benefit Cook Inlet as a whole and everybody that depends on salmon.